Ever wonder why the top 3D professionals always seem one step ahead? It's probably because they subscribe to the 3D News newsletter, and here's that newsletter in video form. Boydesk has announced it acquired Wonder Dynamics, creators of Wonder Studio, a cloud-based 3D animation and VFX solution that leverages artificial intelligence. Wonder Studio integrates with popular 3D tools to help artists animate, light, and compose 3D characters within live action scenes for more efficiency. Wonder Studio is designed to streamline the 3D animation process by automating up to 90% of the objective VFX work. This includes tasks like tracking, lighting, and compositing 3D characters, which traditionally require substantial time and effort. By automating these processes, Wonder Studio claims artists can focus on the subjective aspects of their work, such as creative decisions and fine tuning. So the acquisition allows more creators to incorporate 3D animated characters into their projects with a minimal learning curve, meaning that both small teams and large studios can benefit from advanced tools without needing extensive training. With all that in mind, 3D has gone from a labor-intensive process to a much more streamlined approach. 3D models were created from scratch, but now we have vast model libraries. Textures were manually created from photographs, and today we have platforms like textures.com and material presets. Advances in lighting techniques now allow easy access to IES profiles and HDR images. Rendering has progressed from scanline to ray tracing, complemented by AID noises and cloud rendering. So streamlining tedious tasks at every step of the process has always been happening, just not as fast as it is right now, which is making it much more apparent. So what might the next stage in the evolution of a 3D artist look like? That's exactly what we explore in this video. OpenAI unveiled GPT-40, a new model integrating text, vision and audio. And while it's very cool, something that wasn't mentioned but found deep in the blog was 3D object synthesis. The blog post details how 3D renderings are created from multiple viewpoints using specific input prompts, culminating in a reconstructed 3D model based on the images. You can explore more on the OpenAI blog. And Viz lets users transform high-end 3D scenes into real-time environments accessible on web, tablets, and mobile devices without losing quality. Renowned CGI artist Bertrand Benoit tested the platform by converting his garden loft scene and experienced it in VR, showcasing NViz's capabilities. Enviz addresses a critical need among CGI artists and visualizers for a straightforward solution to bring high-quality interior and exterior visualizations into an interactive real-time format. Its support for various 3D file formats and ability to handle high poly counts makes it a game changer for professionals looking to expand what they can offer their clients. You can learn more about Enviz on their website. Video GigaGAN is a cutting edge video super resolution model. It boasts the ability to upscale videos by up to eight times resolution while maintaining remarkable detail and temporal consistency. AI 3D modeling continues to improve with Meshi introducing the ability to refine textures on AI generated 3D models using brush strokes and text prompts. Like most of AI in the creative field, AI 3D model generation tools lack control over the final result. And this is where Meshi's AI texture editing is excelling compared to other AI 3D modeling tools. This feature is currently only available for pro members. Design platform FreePick has completed the acquisition of Magnifique, the AI-powered image upscaling and enhancement tool. I'm a big fan of Magnifique and it features in a lot of our videos. Magnifique scaled to 725,000 users within just five months, which not only shows the popularity of tools like this, but also the rapid rate of adaption. So who's more likely to win the next competition? Someone that uses AI tools like this or someone who isn't? All the more reason to watch this week's YouTube video. You can read more about the acquisition here. Project Neo is a new creative tool from Adobe that allows designers and illustrators to produce geometric artwork, icons, and unique dimensional shapes with simple controls and commands similar to Photoshop and Illustrator. It aims to help in the creation of geometric graphics in minutes rather than hours. In this tutorial from Chaos TV, you'll learn how to create realistic interior night lighting using V-Ray for 3ds Max. The video guides you through illuminating an interior night scene, covering techniques like setting up lighting, adjusting exposure, and rendering the final image. The May release of Photoshop introduces the Adjustment Brush Tool, which allows users to paint adjustments directly onto their images for more precise editing. 
key features of this new tool include adjustment types. So the tool offers a range of adjustments such as brightness, contrast, exposure, vibrance, hue and saturations, black and white, and photo filter selectable from the new contextual taskbar. Brush properties, so users can customize brush sizes, hardness, and other properties through the options bar or the properties panel. The select subject function aids in automatically selecting the subject for targeted adjustments. Non-destructive editing, so adjustments are applied as adjustment layers with masks enabling non-destructive editing. Users can paint to reveal or conceal adjustments on the mask. And it also means we can use blend modes and opacity and you can watch it in action here. Chaos release Varnish 2.4, which includes support for V-Ray decals and UDIM texture layouts. The second time Varnish has been included in the newsletter recently, showing strong development for the real-time rendering software. 3ds Max has been updated to 2025.1. Some of the highlights include the array modifier enhancement, so up to 250% faster processing speeds for creating arrays of objects depending on geometry complexity and the ability to animate random number seeds for array distribution. The boolean modifier has been improved, so more precise meshing with voxel size adjustments down to 0.001. There's a keyboard shortcut to abort Boolean operations and dynamic warnings for low voxel size values. There are paint weights tool updates, new parameters for better control when using Shift Alt to brush skin weights, addressing previous oversensitivity issues. There's a new turbulent color noise, OSL shader, which creates effects like oil slicks and can drive custom ramps with its float output. You can read about the full updates here. Change the location of objects Fast. This is a new video that shows you how you can change the location of your 3D objects so this can be used in all sorts of projects from car locations to weather conditions and so much more. I obviously would recommend you check it out. Realism in 3ds Max. Learn physics in 3 minutes. Izel commented, man you're so funny thanks a lot. Head over to the channel and learn how to use Mass Effects in 3ds Max for dynamic simulations and you'll learn how to stack plates, fill jars, add forces and simulate explosions to help you create more convincing renders. But most importantly, you can go and see for yourself how funny I really am. Subscribe to the email newsletter. Difficult on the web, tablets and mobile devices without losing fidelity. Fidelity. Man, you're so funny. Thanks a lot. That's what is that's what Izel commented. So head over to the channel.